welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install SoftRaid 8 on a Mac running in Mac OS 10.14 or later. We're demonstrating this installation on Mac OS 14 Sonoma, but if you're running Mac OS 13.3 or later, the installation steps should be identical. If you're running Mac OS 10.14 through 13.2, the installation should be similar, but SoftRaid drivers will need to be installed. Finally, you'll need an internet connection in order to register SoftRaid. Now, let's get started. We've already downloaded the latest version of SoftRaid, and we've got the disk image in our downloads folder. If you don't have the latest version of SoftRaid, you can get it at owc.com slash solutions slash SoftRaid. Go ahead and open the disk image. You'll get a window with two icons. Simply drag the SoftRaid icon onto the Applications icon to copy it to your computer. You can close that window to get it out of the way and unmount the disk image. In the Finder, open the Go menu and select Applications. Find the SoftRaid icon in this window and double-click to launch the application. You'll likely get a dialog box asking if you're sure you want to open the application. Go ahead and click Open. You'll get another dialog box asking for a username and password so SoftRaid can install a helper tool. Go ahead and enter those and click Install Helper. You'll get a pop-up for the SoftRaid license agreement. Go ahead and read through that, then click Accept. Then you'll get an option to help improve SoftRaid by sending anonymous system information to the SoftRaid engineers. If you're running a version of macOS earlier than 13.3, you'll also be prompted to install or update the SoftRaid drivers. Since in this demonstration we're running macOS 14, we won't see this step. You will then get a window asking for registration. If you have a SoftRaid license, you can click the middle button and you can register, which is covered in the next section. You also have the option to purchase a license or continue using SoftRaid in trial mode. To activate your SoftRaid license, you'll need an active internet connection. Once you're sure you have one, go to the SoftRaid menu at the top and select Enter Serial Number. In the box, enter the 20-digit code you got when you purchased SoftRaid. Then click OK. You'll get a dialog box confirming your license has been activated and you can now use your SoftRaid version without any restrictions. One of the new features of SoftRaid 8 is the option to have email alerts sent to your inbox in the event something needs your attention. It's recommended you have a dedicated address for these alerts. To set this up, go to the SoftRaid menu and select Email Notification. In the window that pops up, enter in the name and email address you'd like the email to come from. You can also include a description of the computer, which is handy if you have SoftRaid running on multiple machines. The Outgoing Server tab is where we'll need to enter the server and account information for your email provider. SoftRaid has server settings for many common email providers, such as Gmail, iCloud, Yahoo, and others. All you need to do is select the service you're using, in our case Gmail, and the appropriate server configuration will be entered. If you're not using one of these services, you'll have to configure these settings manually. Enter in the username and password for your email account. Keep in mind some services, such as Gmail, require special settings within the account itself for use with applications like this, so check with your email provider for the correct information. In the next tab, you can set what events will trigger an email. The most commonly chosen options are enabled by default, but you may wish to add or remove them to suit your own specific needs. The Alarms tab allows you to set SoftRaid to send out repeated notices until a problem is resolved. Finally, the Recipients tab is where you can enter who gets notification emails. Click the plus icon near the bottom left corner of the table, then enter in the recipient's name and email address in the appropriate columns. Repeat the process for any other people you'd like to include. 
Finally, to double check all your email settings, go ahead and click send test email. Any email account you've designated as recipient should receive a test email. Any actual notification emails from your copy of SoftRate in the future will look similar to this. Your email notifications are now set up and you can use SoftRate as normal.